What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some Eternal Evolution, yes, on the main channel. So, I've been kind of thinking about this past week, I've done some polls with you guys on both Discord and I've done it on the YouTube channel here. I think majority of people want me to keep the channel as just like, you know, just idle hero stuff while a... 25% think I should put on the main, but here's the thing. I am having such a good time with Eternal Evolution. Um, it, it's it's hitting every checkbox. I mean, you guys know I played uh, every game. I see people going to this game from Raid Shadow Legends, from Infinite Magic Raid, from AFK Arena. I see so many people coming from every game out there to Eternal Evolution because it's relatively a new game. They have been recently been doing a ton of quality of life updates and it is probably one of the most free to play friendly games I've played. Now, does that mean you can compete? I mean, free to play, you can stay in like the top 20, top 10 to 20 on your server if you play optimally. Uh, you most definitely can be competitive. Are you gonna like be super competitive with the whales? Absolutely not. But I want you guys to know that uh, I'm, I might might start testing some videos out here on the main channel so hopefully you guys help support it if you guys are going to try the game or if you've already played it do one big favor for me go to the description down below re-download the game or download it for the first time with my link because that is my creator link that is how you're going to help the Barry gaming channel uh it helps get generate us a little bit of extra revenue on the side and of course it gives me credit for bringing you to the game or saying hey i watch his content for the game which is keeping me playing so, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'm going to jump into the game, give you guys a quick synopsis of why I think you should try the game at the very least, and then you'll probably start seeing tier list beginner guides, uh, who to summon for, and stuff like that on this channel too, because I'm trying to cut back on the filler episodes of Idle Heroes here as well, and this kind of feels like the perfect marriage between less kind of filler bloat of Idle Heroes and some fun content I'm really enjoying. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> So here's the game. Number one, I have to say, out of a lot of the games that I've played, they have one of the best art styles, I think, for characters. Everything is very aesthetically pleasing, and it's more of a sci-fi-esque thing than a fantasy that you're used to in most games. I mean, heck, some of the characters here, like, I'm just going to jump in here. Uh, it looks even better when you're playing on your phone. This is on Bluestacks 10 that we're playing it on, which I'll give you guys a download link on Bluestacks in the future. For now, follow that link in the description. Uh, the characters just look amazing, and honestly, even as a free-to-play player, it's very easy to get these SSS tier heroes, which are like the elite heroes, like the really strong heroes in the game. Uh, but the nice thing about this is you have heroes that are very strong, like these SSS heroes, like Emma right here, very, very strong hero. But you also have like regular elite versions like Taylor that are very comparable to that hero, and they are super easy to acquire and build this is a game where you need a bunch of copies to build up heroes and food but honestly one thing i've noticed in this game uh evolving heroes and getting their evolutions up and picking the food heroes in each faction really doesn't seem like that big of an issue um there are some bloat there are some wasted things here in the recruiting and all that like there are some green heroes you'll see come through that are just purely food you'll see when you create them uh they just give you resources essentially instead and these cool little data chips so one thing that's really cool at this game is there are basically four different ways to summon basics have a pool that you can actually grab hero copies from and it resets every 15 days i believe uh there's advanced summons which are a little more premium you do want to save these up and they have a little bit better of a pool of heroes to pick from and then there are limited this is where the sss heroes come from but the way you summon for them in this game is so amazing so you'll notice right here uh actually i'm kind of blocking it real quick let me see if i can hide myself so you guys can see exactly what i am talking about so let me just hide myself right here you'll see uh, recruit at 60. You're guaranteed this SSS hero. I already did it over here. Uh, so you're guaranteed at least one for 60 of these limited recruit summons, which is just absolutely awesome. Uh, and every 30 summons, you're going to get an elite hero. But the best part about this, every game that I hate, Infinite Magic Raid, Idle Heroes, the summoning processes I hate because you're not guaranteed to get the displayed heroes it's just a higher chance to get them and then you end up getting these random heroes well in this banner right here when you get an elite hero which you're guaranteed one every 30 
So again, I, I need to really, I need to emphasize this. Every 30th summon, you get an elite hero. Even if you get an elite hero within those 30 summons. So every 30, you're hitting an elite hero, which is amazing. And on top of that, you're locked in to be one of these, either the SSS hero or one of the other ones. And on top of that, the chance to get the SSS hero isn't like it's super low compared to the regular elite heroes because yes they're all considered elite heroes just you know nord is sss um the rates are actually very very good in comparison you'd think this would be like a 0.1 percent and these would be up to like three percent each or something no it's actually very evenly distributed and you do manage to get quite a few heroes from this summoning the other thing that's really cool is the chip exchange on this one includes the newest hero that you can get with and these things called jeans jeans are essentially if you are an idle heroes player um is essentially just a hero chest where you can just it's good to use on any hero in the game when you're looking to evolve them. Like just to show you for an example here, if we take one of our heroes uh, that we're in the process of building, uh, you can use this as a substitute for a hero copy, which is pretty cool. Normally you want to save these for your SSS heroes, the ones that you're really trying to build up. And of course it does take a lot of copies, but once you get heroes to immortal, uh, it takes like 10 more to max them out. Think of them. This is like a 10 star hero. And then you're going up to an E5 hero. Although majority of your power is coming simply from being a 10 star hero. E5, like I, I'm just bringing each hero to this immortal 10 star level and just letting them sit for the long haul there's lots of cool things here there's guild there's all the things you're used to like your daily tavern quest the shops that you reflect refresh all the time there are so many good free to play events in this game as well giving you tons of summons and currency uh double chip event is absolutely amazing too uh, in your third week of playing the game, uh, you should really save all of these limited summons up and cash them in on the third week. So if you do start a new account, you can use it as a tester account. I would restart it in the future again, completely free. And we might do a free to play account as well. Um, but yeah, there's there's a ton of really cool stuff with this. There's a battle order system in the beginning that gives you tons of free rewards to help you level up. And there are so many different game modes that they actually tell you exactly what you can get from each. There's PVP, uh, there's Brave Trial, which they let you smash Brave Trial here too after you do it 10 times, which is absolutely amazing. There's like a big boss battle that you do weekly and you can get tons of summons from based on how far you per, you go through. There's Seal Land essentially, again, for you idle hero players. There's three different uh, factions, Terran, Atlas, and uh, Wenfer. So yeah, there's those. And then there's like the tower mode over here, which is really cool. There's really interesting boss battles that lets you acquire gear, that lets you acquire commanders, and lets you acquire prototypes these are all things that are going to help you buff the the prototype and the commanders help you and give you unique buffs in battle which are absolutely cool and then there are really awesome game modes like this that let you buy out the event every day just with uh diamonds and you can get so much progress on your account including like basically you can see what my old man is right now this is basically just playing it with just spending diamonds not a single penny on this event you can get them up to immortal in about a week and a half's time which is really really cool very solid hero and even the hero they give you for spending the first time is your first top up with serena um <laughs> she's like the second best healer in the game and you really want to go for her so really awesome game modes uh bag management is not difficult in this game whatsoever they're very very open with bag management the only time that they have managing issues is the total number of hero slots you have but i'll be honest even spending i really like it doesn't expand the slot you're not going to have many troubles trust me fusions and everything are going to be very easy and then there are some more advanced game modes with some cool boss battles i'll show you one of them right here actually uh what can i show you I need to show you one that I'm going to get my butt kicked. <laughs> so there are some cool boss battles. I think I already bought all the extra attempts out. So I'll show you this one. It's a really cool bat battle where you're fighting this big tortoise and there's this ledge you're on. Uh, he'll push you back based on how many people are alive and such. But you'll be able to see here that once I throw my heroes in, uh, it's a cool boss battle as well. There's auto battler, so you don't have to activate their buttons it's more like an afk arena style than an idle heroes but if you do run it on auto it's pretty cool if you don't run it on auto it's kind of an interesting mechanic here so you basically add you can like 
tell your character where to go on his ability some of them just do basic attacks some of them are just basic heals and then other ones do like this kind of you can aim where you want the abilities to go which is pretty cool it's something that uh we don't have in a lot of other games where you get to basically tell them where to go but not when to use certain abilities which is different and you can see here tons of damage i'm not quite powerful enough to do this one here but well, i got nord which is an absolutely amazing hero he can wreck house so if you guys are interested and you want to play or if you currently play uh eternal evolution and you're just following the barry gaming channel please take one second hit that subscribe button i think honestly eternal evolution is going to help us get over that big 100,000 subscriber mark eventually and i do think this is going to be one of the next big games if you do use the link in the description just full transparency there is a revenue share model basically for people who i bring to the game so anything you spend in the game i get a small percentage of it as well so if you're looking to help support barry gaming and you still want to spend on your gaming uh this is the perfect way because you don't have to donate you don't have to gift subs on twitch nothing like that you can just simply play the game you want use the link in the description to download the game and do everything you want and uh yeah there's a nice little revenue share at the end of it as well how much is it gonna be probably not much but it's still a little cool incentive and i'm just telling you guys this this is gonna be i feel like this is gonna be one of the next big idol games out there from afk arena raid shadow legends i just see so many people saying hey i used to play this game i'm now playing this i'm never going back it's a perfect game to play so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully i just leave comments down below whatever your opinion is whether you want to play the game don't want to play the game anything like that and i'll see you guys next time